in a blue ottoman, and then she's got like beachy chair. She's going for a beachy theme. Oh, with this So I've got to go get her nice. furniture and put it in here. But this will give me an opportunity to film in a setup. <laughs> Memphis, which is this downstairs. <clears throat> this is basically a Memphis downstairs and a Houston upstairs married. That's a Santa Fe. So when, when I had my Memphis, Slade and I, we would put his recliner right here. Uh -huh. So normally this comes with an L part of the sofa, okay. but it makes your living room feel from there to there. Okay. So we put a recliner here and I had a little table with a lamp and our drinks would sit on that, but it opened up the living room. Sure. And then I had two cute chairs over there and a little table. So this is kind of a versatile, um, living room area as well. So if you want to be right in front of the TV, you can do that. Okay. It can happen. Okay. And then you mentioned something just before we came into this coach. Mm -hmm. When a new customer comes to you and buys a coach, mm -hmm. you set them up for the first night and mm -hmm. what? Uh, basically, you I meet you out here, show you your rig, make sure you know how to run the air conditioners, make sure you have hot water so you can shower, and um, see if you have any questions and then I give you a DVD and so you watch that we call it homework so you can move in relax but you do have homework you watch this DVD which is a walkthrough um, the first night and then on the second night third night fourth night whenever it's ready for you or good for you you just tell me and I text Vinny and he comes and gives the actual walkthrough okay yeah so you get a Right. You get a little bit of homework before you have to go through the process or before you go through the process hoping that gives you a little better idea of what's going on. Yeah, there's so much um, information to absorb. Sure. So if you just kind of got it one time in an actual walkthrough, you can forget things. And so we like for you to kind of see it at least once and then, and then you can write down any questions you have. So when you actually go through it, you remember more of it. And of course the DVD is yours to keep. Okay. So what are your favorite things about the Santa Fe? Um, I like this. You can have a residential washer dryer. And this is like my Memphis was. So this kitchen is fabulous. I love the kitchen. And I love all this great cabinet space. And I like all this um, counter space. I kind of like that it's a, you know, no sink here. So you can have chips and dips uh -huh. or whatever. Uh -huh. But it just like the modified Houston or set 39 we had a while ago. Real house size washer dryer can fit. You have that huge bathroom up front, that walk in big closet. More space here. Wow. So, this is one of my favorite floor plans. Okay. I mean, if Slade didn't snore, I would buy this for myself. <laughs> but since he does snore, we go, okay, it's 450, it is. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. And you got the desk too. So, so many people right. actually work still. Um, but do work online, so a lot of people are after this desk. This desk can totally be modified as well, so you don't have to have this window. Um, I'm building one straight across right now because somebody with printers and all, it would just work better for them. Personally, I don't like seeing the junk in here, and I don't like this. This kind of drives me crazy like there's a burnout light, sure. but um, it's just a strip of LED lights up there. But I would totally do wood doors here uh -huh. and then just modify this whatever you need. You know, a lot of people that work have really large screens. Sure. And so that's why we can shorten this cabinet up. I've had one guy not want the drawers. He wanted full roominess. And so we can tweak this to whatever you want. I've also 
taken this out and put a hutch here so okay. you have a lot more room. Okay. And um, we can do bars over here. Like, there's a lot of things we can do. Okay. Now, can you do the eating bar straight from the factory? Or does that have to be a mod afterwards? So on the eating bar, um, I just delete the chairs and they they don't do it quite like we wanted it. So like for the um, Hudson's, for, for example, we she didn't want this window and she wanted a tall bar. So okay. we could build a bar below it, but for her, we built a tall bar and what we did is we let them do this cabinet the way it was, but I asked them to build it one level. Okay. And so then we added styles to compensate. Okay. And so we kind of used these doors and um, drawers from DRV to accomplish what we want, but basically Slade built it for her. Okay. And then this, uh, the bathroom and bedroom are accessible when the slides are in, it looks like? Not really. Oh, well the bedroom is. Well, if you have the non vanity slide, but I'd have to see how far that vanity slide comes in. Okay. She, she wanted the slide, which I can run in and check. But you could still climb over. Down here. Um, I know you could if you don't have that slide, but let's see how far it comes in. I think you might be able to squeeze through. That's what we do. We just climb over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're good. So you just climb over. Yeah. This one has the single sink up there, so you can see what that looks like. Okay. Full king size bed, nightstands, nice storage up top, the vanity has got cedar lined drawers. TV, sound bar, single sink, lots of storage, lots of drawers, oh my goodness, big medicine cabinet, storage on both sides of the medicine cabinet, big shower. And that pulls it's more standard. Okay. Alicia, that's different than our 38 RSSA is they put screws on these trim pieces on the slides. Mm -hmm. I don't. We don't have those. Yeah, that is actually something new. This is actually my first unit that has that, and so the purpose is to stiffen this um, T molding up. Oh. So the um, caulking here would work better, and hopefully. Oh, that's a good idea. Not, uh, you know, it'll it'll prevent your slide for getting rotten. Yeah. So that's that's something new. So if you don't have that. You might can add that okay. and then use your touch-up paint to paint the screws, sure. but it's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and here's your camera option. Yes. Yeah. This is the uh, hardwired okay. with the side cameras. And so basically, um, from the camera at the rear, I don't like the wireless. I really don't like it on anything, but especially a coach of this length because it's, you know, long. And so um, it has a delay in it and some static. So I prefer the hardwired. Okay. So basically there's two cameras on each side and your rear camera and then come over here, I'll show you where you hook them in. So there are these pigtail wires and you get a, a monitor and this is where you plug in the pigtail wires. Oh. And then there's some wiring to do to your truck, which they do it across the street at Advantage Audio. And so it'll be direct wired from the rear well, through the idea. attic all the way to your truck. It's all a hardwired system. Okay, that's a great So idea. no static, no delay. Yeah. And I try to add slam latches everywhere that I yes. can. Yes. I like those. Yes. That's a must in my opinion. So, um, Alicia, the same as, as what's on our coach is you've got two battery doors, um, one on each side of the coach, mm -hmm. and room for two batteries on each side. Mm-hmm. 
And then with that, you also get the magnum inverter? Uh, yeah, it's a 2800 watt inverter. Okay. So the factory installs the magnum inverter mm -hmm. right here above the, the batteries yeah. with an auto gen start? Yes. Oh, nice. Okay.